Hello everyone welcome to Great Ninja. We will show you lots of amazing facts and theories about Naruto and also Boruto. But before enjoying the video, please subscribe to this channel, share this content and also turn on the notification bells. In manga Boruto chapter 77, Kawaki used Ishiki's dojutsu in his left eye to open a portal to another dimension or to be precise the Daikokuten dimension, to then move Naruto and Hinata into it. Kawaki states that the Daikokuten dimension itself is a dimension where time stops, so neither Naruto nor Hinata will grow old and starve to death. With Naruto's disappearance as he was trapped in the Daikokuten dimension, there will be many events that Naruto will miss, such as the time skip moment that will likely occur in the near future, especially after the exchange of fate between Boruto and Kawaki that forced Boruto to become a rogue ninja at the end of Boruto Chapter 80. Meanwhile, the appearance of Boruto and Kawaki in the first episode occurred when both of them were 16 years old, which means there will be a four-year time skip moment soon. Naruto may also be freed from the Daikokuten dimension in that period, or rather shortly after Kawaki's cruelty is stopped. It will be interesting to see what Naruto will do to Kawaki for what he has done, as well as what kind of strength Naruto will have after the time skip to face a much stronger enemy in the future. Given Naruto's character, who always wants to protect his family and the village, it seems Naruto will be looking for new powers to prevent something from happening like before. Therefore, here are the powers that Naruto will have after the time skip moment. 1. New Power of White Kurama As you know, Kurama died from using Baryan Mode after Naruto's battle against Ishiki Otsutsuki. Kurama's death has made Naruto lose almost half of the power he has. Even though Kurama is now in a different realm, in his last message Kurama had promised that one day the two of them would meet again. From Kurama's words, there is still a possibility that Kurama will eventually be able to be revived and they will meet again. Kurama can indeed be revived in several ways, including by using Naruto's abilities as a member of the Uzumaki clan who is an expert in Fuenjutsu. The downside of reviving Kurama through this is that this can only happen by making Kurama a new individual, so retaining his memories with Naruto would be impossible. Starting from his appearance, Kurama will have white skin resembling the robes of the Sage of Six Paths, but with reddish flames at the ends instead of red-orange fire. Whereas in terms of abilities, most of them are exactly like the abilities possessed by the original Kurama. It's just that because of his awakening, there was interference from the unique abilities of the Uzumaki clan. This resurrected Kurama brings a few special abilities belonging to the Uzumaki clan, such as having the ability to use several Fuenjutsu techniques. Apart from that, Kurama also has a unique transformation that allows him to enter the astral form. This astral form allows Kurama to hide his large body, even though in that form Kurama won't be able to do anything. Apart from that, Kurama can also change his body into nine parts, just like the unique ability possessed by Menma's Black Nine Tails. With the great hatred felt by Kurama, he is able to create and control living entities created from his own chakra, which are referred to as the Nine Masked Beasts, each of which has their own unique abilities. Some can create barrier ninjutsu either to protect or trap enemies, use chakra absorption techniques to absorb enemies or channel chakra to other people, or even use space-time ninjutsu to teleport from one place to another within a certain distance. When the nine masked beasts are defeated, they will return in the form of a small Kurama, which can transform into the original Kurama's body as before. If you ignore Kurama's appearance, personality, and past memories, his resurrection is a very good thing for Naruto, as his strength is really needed to face bigger threats in the future. 2. Shinobi Wear, Absorbing Hand Along with the passing of time, many ninja tools were created to keep up with technological developments. The tools created are generally called scientific ninja tools and have their respective functions. One of them is Shinobi Wear, which is a bionic type of scientific ninja tool that has been developed as prosthetics or implants for use by residents to help them protect themselves. 
Naruto himself has shinobi wear in the form of a prosthetic right hand which is a prototype ninjutsu absorbing device created based on Momoshiki Otsutsuki's abilities. However, because it was still being developed by Katasuke, this was the first time Naruto was shown using this shinobi wear. Meanwhile, with Amato joining Konoha, the development of the shinobi wear will probably be continued, so that its use is not limited to just absorption, but also amplification which is similar to what Momoshiki has. Considering that Amato is a scientist who has created many powerful cyborgs and has awakened Kawaki's karma along with Ishiki's power, Sooner or later the development of the shinobi wear will reach the perfect stage, which will be used by Naruto when he's in a pinch. This shinobi wear will also be very useful for Naruto to fight against Kawaki, to prevent himself from being trapped in another dimension as he can absorb the portal if used on him. 3. Karma After Boruto's death due to being killed by Kawaki, Boruto has now become 100% Otsutsuki due to the interference from Momoshiki who used his remaining data to save Boruto from death. With Naruto having witnessed his son's death before his own eyes, he certainly didn't want the same incident to happen again. Therefore, Naruto as a father would do whatever it takes to get Boruto's karma. With this, when Boruto returns, Naruto can prevent his death by allowing Boruto to be revived by using his body. As you know, Boruto becoming the perfect Otsutsuki, that means Boruto can put the karma seal on someone, just like an Otsutsuki in general. Even though Naruto will only be a backup for Boruto's resurrection, without realizing it, with Naruto having karma it means he will get a very large power boost, which is likely enough to replace Kurama's power which had previously disappeared. Just like how Boruto and Kawaki's karma works, Naruto's karma will allow him to absorb various kinds of ninjutsu that come at him. Besides that, Naruto will also become a seasoned warrior because he has indirectly gained Otsutsuki's fighting experience that has been accumulated for thousands of years. 4. Super-Tailed Beast, Rasengan. Of the many great techniques possessed by Naruto, the Rasengan is one of the techniques that Naruto often uses, and is often the finisher to end battles with the enemies he is fighting. Meanwhile, in the fight between Borashiki and Code, Borashiki shows a new type of Rasengan by forming a small Rasengan right in front of his finger, which he then shoots while chanting the word Rasengan. From that fight, Naruto was inspired to create a new type of Rasengan, which can be launched like Rasengan. Rasengan itself is a Rasengan with a diameter the size of a thumb, which actually has no significant attack power. It's just that, because it is launched very quickly, Rasengan can be a deadly technique because it can penetrate anything in its path. Thanks to Naruto's observation of the Rasengan released by Momoshiki through Boruto's body, Naruto can utilize the tailed beast chakra stored in his body, by combining the Rasengan with the unique chakra of each tailed beast, so that a new variant of Rasengan will be created, the Super Tailed Beast Rasengan. That way, Naruto will get the latest ultimate technique to give a surprise attack to the enemy with a Rasengan that is small in size but has enormous destructive power. 5. Synthetic Byakugan The Byakugan is a unique Keke Genkai, as well as one of the strongest dojutsu that only the Hyuga clan has. With the Byakugan, a Hyuga is able to see through an object, read chakra flow, see from a considerable distance, and allow them to observe their surroundings without any blind spot. Naruto himself has a wife who is a Byakugan princess, and they are blessed with two children, one of whom is named Himawari. Naruto's daughter is able to use the Byakugan naturally at the age of three. To date, Naruto has never been shown using the Byakugan, but in Naruto Retsuden, he briefly possessed the powers of Byakugan with the help of scientific ninja tools made by Orochimaru. Even if only for a moment, it proves that Naruto has the potential to be able to awaken the Byakugan. Especially now that Konoha has two of the greatest scientists like Amato and Katasuke, where they might be able to create their own synthetic Byakugan. By taking the Hyuga clan's DNA sample, coupled with Orochimaru's scientific ninja tools which allowed Naruto to temporarily possess the Byakugan's power, Amato and Katasuke in the future will succeed in developing synthetic Byakugan for Naruto. 
And if he also has the Byakugan just like his wife and child, then Naruto will be quite dangerous in close combat, and his defense will also increase. Just imagine, if Naruto used the multiple shadow clones technique, and each clone had his own Byakugan, then for the enemy to be able to run away or cover his weaknesses from Naruto's view would be an impossible thing to do. Apart from that, his nearly 360-degree vision will also allow Naruto to avoid incoming attacks without any significant difficulty. That's the end of the Great Ninja Channel video today. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave some comments, like, and share this video so we can have more people see this. Thank you and the Great Ninja Channel is signing out for today.